Once again, Toyota Stadium in Frisco, Texas became the Galaxy's private house of horrors in a listless 2-0 loss to FC Dallas on Saturday. Hi, I'm James of Faithful Angelino Sports with a rapid recap of Galaxy Soccer. If you enjoyed talking about the five-time MLS Cup champs, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We talk Galaxy Soccer here almost every day. The Galaxy were held goalless for the first time since May 18th which was at least a scoreless draw at Charlotte. It stood to reason, though, that L.A. would have problems there, despite the fact that they came into the match having twice as many victories as FC Dallas, because L.A. had not won there since 2015. That's the Steven Gerrard era dawning. That's the Giovanni Dos Santos era dawning. President at that point was Barack Obama. That's how long it's been since they got three points out in Frisco. So even though Dallas had half the number of wins going into the match as the Galaxy did, even though Dallas had only won once in its previous five matches, the Galaxy should have known this and been playing at their top form. They didn't. This was one of their worst performances of the season which will likely cost them a share of first place in the Western Conference. This is going to depend on two matches that haven't been played yet. They, were, they went into today's action with 43 points, which was tied for first place along with LAFC and Real Salt Lake. Real Salt Lake is currently playing at Portland. The Timbers have a 1-0 lead. LAFC will be playing Columbus at BMO Stadium. The Galaxy were without. I'm assuming they're going to rescue our team. The Galaxy were without leading scorer Dejan Jovalik. Joseph Paintsill instead lined up atop a 4-2-3-1 formation. But the Galaxy looked absolutely lost for the entirety of the match. They were outshot 19-11. The Galaxy only managed one shot on goal for the entire night. That by Gabriel Peck. Peter Musa scored the game winner in the 28th minute. John McCarthy made a kick save on a prior shot, but the rebound went right to an unchecked Musa at the penalty spot. Musa has 12 goals on the year. Logan Farrington scored his second goal of the year for insurance in the second half. The LA Riot Squad, one of the larger supporter groups for LA Galaxy, they like to name a man of the match at the conclusion, win or lose. I would struggle to say who they would name. Who? There was zero offensive pressure all night. In terms of possession of the ball, the Galaxy got smashed. They didn't have the ball for most of the night at all. So that takes care of the attackers, that takes care of the midfielders. It is true that the back line blocked a lot of shots, but they were caught flat-footed on Farrington's goal. Farrington beat them from almost midfield and outran them to the net. Can't be McCarthy, he allowed two goals. Who is the man of this match? It was an absolutely dreadful performance, but Tomorrow's always another day. And what I mean by that, it's not necessarily tomorrow, it will be Wednesday, when the Galaxy will host Colorado to try to right the ship at Dignity Health Sports Park, where they haven't lost all year. So, once again, your final score, LA Galaxy face plant against FC Dallas two to nothing. If you enjoyed this recap, don't forget to subscribe to Faithful Angelinos. We talk LA Galaxy soccer almost every day here. Thank you for watching. I'm James. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Faithful Angelinos is a key on Corte El Queso production. Take care.